Hello everybody and welcome back to um Trackmania Nations Forever. So last time we tried and did let's slip some water up slip some water and of course I ended up getting shafted that last bit there, which you can probably see me pointing to. I think it's that bit, probably. Um and we've got a few more tracks. So we're gonna carry on. We're gonna do small dirt circuit, which is one of my bit more my simpler tracks, which works rather well. Um yeah. I'm gonna try and sort out tracks into different like little um playlists or, you know, section out properly. Like I have a new folder, for example, filled with just like to start the one off with A colon something so that I can actually remember you know, so that I can actually play them in a significant kind of order. Oh, oh dear. Sorry, my apologies, I'm <laughs> going too fast. And uh, that moment when you sanic too much. But I'll tell you what this game reminds me a lot of, and why I play it so much. It's because it reminds me very much of Hot Wheels. You know, the whole track thing. You know, back in the day when you used to have like those little connect pieces between tracks. But you'd have all over those track pieces, but not enough of the interconnecting bits. But it was beautiful, because you could build these little Hot Wheels tracks. This is what it reminds me of. This is what a Hot Wheels game should, in theory, be like. Can we do the... We can. We can do the weird thing. This is new meta techniques. Can we... No, we can't. We can't succeed at it anyway. But, this is what I'd love. Like, if... If Mattel can get their heads out of their buttholes and think, right, we'll make a new Hot Wheels game where you can have your own track creator and you can drive actual Hot Wheels cars. You know, just make a deal with the Trackmania devs to do a Hot Wheels Trackmania. I would pay very good money for that kind of thing. You know? Like, have like a Highway 35, because Highway 35 was the sh back in the day. It was just the creme de la creme of racing. Like, if you didn't have... If you if you didn't know what that was when you were a kid, at that sort of time, then shame on you. Seriously, shame on you for not knowing, because it was amazing. And it was one of the few things, and actually had a decent kind of multiculturality to it. I mean, admittedly, some of them were a little bit stereotyped, like Tarek Tano being just this. Oh, I am, I am, Edge Samurai. I wish they did a Japanese dub. Just I am a Jusumaru, because that was Taro. Just has to be edgy all the time. And but some of them were very, very good, and it was actually very good on the um, because it was like what 2002, probably. Yeah, um, very good for ethnic um, equality and ethnic variation. That's what I was thinking. Variation. There's probably a better word for it. I can't remember. But, and the vehicles were awesome, and the game that came out of it was not awesome. It was good, but it wasn't, <gasps> oh my gosh, this is what I've been looking for all my life. No, it was kind of lacklustre, actually. If you go and play it, I might have try and get an emulator at some point and play it, and I'll show you just how meh it is. And then they brought out that Hot Wheels track, what is it, Stunt Track Challenge, which was even worse. It was like mini-games, and who wants to do mini-games with, with Hot Wheels? Hmm mini games. You might as well make Mario Party 24. Um, that was the small dirt circuit. And this one's Super Launcher, which is well I you know how crazy I get with um boosts. It gets well <laughs> I'm not ever gonna justify it with a response. How about going at five hundred miles per hour? Because that seems something that would be very logical. Come on. Fall over the edge. Oh. But I've now realised how to interconnect um, racetrack to those uh, ramp pieces. Which is good. Come on. Flip. They really need like a flip your car mechanic in this game. Can we do this? No. Darn it. <laughs> this might take a few attempts. But yeah. Going back to the whole Hot Wheels thing. Seriously, why is it not a thing? Ah! That was...
was absolutely perfect. Why is it not a thing? Because that would be the the dream, in theory. Oh dear. Oh no. Hold it. Oh, I I could have. I could have. I could have clutch, but I didn't. Um. But like, if you had like a Trackmania style thing for Hot Wheels, with actual you know decent interconnected track pieces, something similar to this, you know the old classic orange, green, uh, you know other sorts of things, and had Hot Wheels cars, and maybe a bit of a story mode, it would be amazing. Heck, you could even have unlockables. You have like level symbols like in this, like the um, solo mode, but have like secret routes you take, shortcuts that have parts boxes or something. Or even like parts to unlock new cars. Oh dear. And why stop with five or thirty five, you know? Why stop there? You know, go the whole hole. Do accelerators, do whatever it is you need to do. You know? The source material is here and it is absolutely gosh dang awful. I mean brilliant, sorry. I was gonna say awesome, but mixed up my awful or my my ah Gosh darn it. This is where I started experimenting with loops and realizing that there is a hole in the middle. If that was a game of golf, I would have gone a hole in one. That's a good idea, actually. Trackmania cult golf. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. Rocket League has football with cars. Why not golf with cars? The, the car being the goal. I bet that's already been done. Someone. Answer in a post. Question of the day, even. Question of the day. Is there a game which is basically cars being golf balls? Question of the day. Why isn't there going to be another Micro Machines game? I mean, I know that several companies have gone bust trying to re re resurrect Micro Machines, but surely a game dev can just pick up the source material. Because the Micro Machines games always did well, I think. Well, I always loved them. And I I can't believe I'm screwing some of this, this easy up. Um, but yeah, like Hot Wheels and Micro Machines, one had good games and kept going bust as a company, the other one had good source material and kept making terrible games. I mean, there's the new one, the newest one they did, I think, what is it, um, the teams and whatever, was god damn awful, apparently. I haven't played it, but I've read lots of scathing reviews, and that's good enough for me. Um, but it's quite a shame that the original sort of what you consider racing car giants have sort of fallen from grace in the past few years. Seriously, I'm not getting what the heck. Okay, there we go. But yeah, it it it's quite the shame, really, uh, how they've sort of you know, gone bust or gone bad or gone from bad to worse, you know. Oh, screw it. I have to do that bit again, because I, I, I otherwise I wouldn't be doing the track correctly. And, strangely, it's been eight minutes of me doing this one track. Because, I think it's... Has it been... No, actually, no, it's been two tracks, sorry. My apologies. Um, I think this has been, like, five minutes for this track alone, because I can't do racing games. Question of the day. Is Jax going slowly crazy because of racing games? Answer, um, come back in five episodes' time to find out the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. That's another thing that has got sort of gone downhill lately. Well, I, I haven't even heard anything new about it. I mean, apparently it's gone slightly downhill in recent years, Dragon Ball Z. Um, but going, trying to go back to racing and stuff. I, seriously, some get on a Kickstarter and do that. Yeah. Um, let's finish off with Super Speed Wagon. Um, but yeah, like, if you quick kickstarted a game, sort of similar vein to Hot Wheels, or, Matt, you know, that sort of ideology, yeah, a bit, like, maybe Trackman and Dev should get on it themselves, do a similar thing to the, the insane antics of Hot Wheels. I mean, there is, I mean, they've got most of the material, they just need, like, I don't know, monsters and stuff. Then again, I mean, they just need the Hot Wheels branding. That's that's all I want is the branding it's because it's cool. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to take very long at all, is it? Speedy boys.
get duped. Again, golf car. Cars being golf balls. Actually, come to think of it, they did that, um, Half Films, I think, did something similar. Well, it's not a game, but they sort of tapped into the idea of car golf, um, in Stunt Lads, which was absolutely gorgeous. That was a hilarious episode of golf history. And trot history, supposedly. Um, I say um a lot, I'm really sorry. It's me trying to string together words. Oops. But Car Golf, as a mini game for this, or any sort of game to be fair, it's a good idea. And people need to get on to these good ideas. I, I mean, someone should just pay me to do my good ideas, as I do. Because I'm very good at them, apparently. Oh dear. And that was actually... <laughs> and that was the right level. Because um, apparently... The AI doesn't know how to race, once again. However, this has been... Um, a very... <laughs> a very um... Fest of... Um, Trackmania. <laughs> Ow! Sorry, I got an ulcer. Ow! Yeah. Leave a like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoyed this video here, and obviously want to see me do more Trackmania stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and this is Gettyjack signing off. Goodbye.